Now for this first part what I've done is just copied the diagram down. I've left out the force x newtons because uh, it's not going to be needed in this part but what we've got is that the object started from say the top of the slope here at rest so what I'm going to do is just put some labels on this. We're going to need it anyway for the next part of the problem. So we've got this started from rest so we'll put that as naught meters per second and it traveled down the slope and gained speed so there was obviously an acceleration so put an arrow there directly over the top of the object and we'll call that acceleration a meters per second per second and when it got down to the bottom of the slope we were told that it traveled a distance of 2.7 meters so s the displacement would be 2.7 meters and the time it took to get down to here was 3 seconds so we'll just put that in there okay so what have we essentially got if we've got to find a well we've got a suvat type question so suvat s u v a and t i'd write those variables down there let's see what we've got s the displacement well clearly as it moved down here it traveled 2.7 meters u the initial speed was zero when it first started so you have zero meters per second the final velocity when it got down here well we don't know that so we would forget about that one acceleration well we want to find the acceleration so we're looking for that the time it took was three seconds so that's three s so what are we going to use as a formula that connects these variables well what it's going to be is this one using s equals ut plus a half a t squared so all we need to do is fill in these values so therefore s is 2.7 equals u times t well u is 0 and 0 times anything is going to be 0 so we can leave out that term then we've got half times a well we don't know a times t squared 3 squared or 9 if you like so all we need to do is half the 9 that's 4.5 so 4.5 a and divide both sides by 4.5 to give us a so a is going to be 2.7 divided by 4.5 if you do that on a calculator you'll find that a turns out to be 0.6 and the units will be meters per second per second so there's our acceleration Okay, well that brings us now to the end of the first part of this question.